Hit a snag with an HTTP error 500 on your WordPress site. This error can be a real headache, but don't worry, we're here to troubleshoot it together. Hello, I'm Jade from Rapid Cloud, where we ensure your WordPress hosting is smooth and trouble free with top tier support to tackle any issues that come your way. Let's dive into what causes an HTTP error 500 and how you can fix it to get your WordPress site back up and running. Error 500, or internal server error, is what we call a server side error. This means the problem isn't with your computer or internet connection, but with the server hosting your website. It can be triggered by a few different things, a corrupt HT access file, exhausted PHP memory limit, or problematic plugins and themes. Let's dive into the different solutions we can use to fix this. First, let's check the HT access file. An HT access file is a crucial file in all PHP-based applications that controls your website's configuration. If your HT access file is corrupted, it can lead to a 500 internal server error. This file is usually affected by a module or a broken theme installation. You can fix the error in these cases by accessing your HT access file via FTP. After putting your site's FTP credentials in your chosen FTP client, find the HT access file in your root directory, rename it to something like HT access underline old and see if that resolves the error. Second, you might need to increase your PHP memory limit. Sometimes the internal server error can happen if a script consumes all the PHP memory limit. The easiest way to increase your PHP memory limit is by editing the wp-config file. If you're a beginner, make sure you follow these instructions carefully because even a small mistake in WordPress core files can break your site. To begin, simply connect to your WordPress website using an FTP client or file manager app under your hosting account control panel. You'll find the wp-config file inside the main folder of your website. Right-click on it and select Download. This will ensure that you have a file backup in case something goes wrong. Once you've saved that, you can right-click on it and select View slash Edit. Inside the wp-config file, you'll need to add the following code just above the line that reads That's all, stop editing, happy publishing. If 256 megabytes doesn't resolve the problem, then try increasing it to 512. Now, if that doesn't work, try deactivating all WordPress plugins. It is also possible that it is a combination of plugins that are not playing nice with each other. If you can access the WordPress admin area of your website, then you can go to the plugins page and deactivate all WordPress plugins. If your site works again, reactivate them one by one to find the culprit. If it's not a plugin, you can also try to switch to a default WordPress theme to see if that fixes the problem. Another solution is to clear your WordPress and browser caches. Browsers and your WordPress caching plugins can sometimes mistakenly store a cached copy of an error page. The easiest way to fix this is by first clearing your browser cache. After that, if you have access to the WordPress admin area of your website, then you can empty the WordPress cache by visiting your caching plugin settings page. If you've tried all these steps and still face the error, it's time to call in the experts. Rapid Cloud support team is available 24-7 to help you resolve any server-side issues quickly and efficiently. With Rapid Cloud, you have all the tools and support you need to manage your WordPress site like a pro. Don't take my word for it, check the link in the description and try Rapid for yourself. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, please hit like and subscribe for more tips. Drop a comment if you have questions or share your own fixes. And I'll see you in the next video.